Saturday's primetime matchup between Florida State and Duke. Yeah, Florida State and Duke is a primetime matchup, but it also means that Tallahassee, it'll be a destination for top recruits. And in this video, we're going to talk about the important recruiting weekend going on. We'll also hit on a few flip targets on the radar, and we'll get into intel on a certain five-star that is announcing his decision on Saturday. But FSU fans, do me a favor right now. Hit that subscribe button. We just started this page about five or six weeks ago, and we're almost to 20K, so help us get there. Hit subscribe. Okay, let's bring on Mike Langston from Warchant. Get this thing started. Yeah. Mike, we got a big visit weekend in Tallahassee, but we got to talk LJ McCray first. The five-star defensive lineman announces his decision on Saturday. And this is probably Florida State's best and only chance at landing a five-star on that D-line, but there's some competition. Miami, UF, Georgia, and Auburn are also involved. We're two or three days out. What are your sources saying? Yeah, it's uh, it's been an intense one. It's been a roller coaster with, with LJ McCray obviously coming off that official visit to FSU, which I think was key because – he hasn't experienced that yeah, being around the players. And I think ever since then, I've, I've heard a shift with with FSU where it's – I've, I've heard – the most buzz I've heard out of FSU, you know, as far as their confidence of, mm -hmm. you know, they feel like they're in a good position. And I agree with that based on the intel I have. I think, uh, I think as of today on Wednesday as we're doing this, uh, I think FSU is the team that I hear trending. Um, I hear that more consistently. Um, I think I think it's not a done deal, so I'm not saying that that's my going to be my 100% pick. But I do think if I was making a pick today, I would probably side towards FSU at this point based on the intel I've gotten. Yeah, and I think, like you said, nobody truly knows. LJ McCray, no matter who you talk to, nobody truly knows. He hasn't informed a, a, a staff yet right. either way of where he's going. So if it weren't FSU, let's take the Knowles out of the picture right now. Where do you think he would go if it's not FSU? That's a tough one. It's really close with, for me for the two or three. I think there's several teams in there, but I think I think if I was picking one, I would say Georgia uh, as far as that other team, just because I think that's a team that's really uh, a school he's enamored by. Obviously, the two-time division champions, they do well with defensive linemen. If you look at their pedigree, you know Jalen Carter being the most recent one that you know uh, really exploded. So I think. I think that's the team that if I was picking one, it's close between them and Florida. I think Miami and Auburn are also teams that are in there, but mm -hmm. I hear more about Georgia as the other team uh, as of this week. Um, now, maybe that can change again. I don't know, but that's kind of where I said that if it wasn't them, I would at, at this point, I would say Georgia. Mm. All right. Well, we'll find out on Saturday. Now, the next two guys that I want to talk about, we're going to transition to important visitors on campus this weekend, and they're both two rival flip targets, both on the defensive line. So based on what happens with LJ McCray on Saturday, these guys, now FSU might not have room for them, or they could become really important if LJ McCray ends up going to Georgia or Florida or Miami or Auburn. So who am I talking about? I'm talking about defensive lineman Nasir Johnson. He's committed to the Florida Gators. And then defensive lineman Artavius Jones, who's committed to Miami. Both four-star prospects, and both are expected to be in Tallahassee this weekend. So let's start with Nasir Johnson. Where are things with Florida State and him, and is he a priority for the Knowles right now? Yeah, I think he he's a big priority for them. Uh, they've been working on ever since he committed to Florida. I think he's firm in his pledge to Florida. So that's not going to be just an easy one where you get in there and FSU's cooking and, and FSU looks like the better in-state team than any any team out there in the state of Florida. And certainly that's an attraction. But I think they're going to have to work and show just, you know, him – experiencing the feeling while he's on campus. Certainly it's going to be an electric atmosphere. Everyone that's been the doke on a night game for a big top rank game, it's certainly – that's going to grab his attention. But I, I think they're certainly working for him. I think they like him. But I do think they're, they're going to have to work and, and, and show him something different than what he got at Florida. Keep in mind, FSU was his first offer, so there's a lot of you know emotional ties and feelings of, of how he feels about FSU. But I think uh, – they will have to put in the work and they will have to show him something that he hasn't seen uh, while he's been at Florida. All right. Now let's move on to Artavius Jones. He was in Tallahassee, what, last weekend? So what's yes. going on here between Florida State and this Miami commitment? Yeah, he, he lives in Bluntstown. So as you know, that's like 50 you know miles away or whatnot. It's close. It's easy to get there. But he hasn't really visited for a game. And then all of a sudden last week he pops up 
I see him there. I'm like, whoa, okay, Artavius Jones is here. And they've been consistently – that's been the guy that they focused on, I think, you know, as far as uncommitted guys outside of LJ. He's been the main guy that they've really worked hard on. Odo Haggins has been very involved with that. Um, he loves Odell. Um, uh, what was interesting is – Usually when Artavius visits, it's kind of like he's in and out. Sometimes he sneaks out the back. Sometimes you don't get him. This one, he was more around the crowd, you know, mm-hmm. doing some chops, being around, taking pictures, may, even coming up to the media and talking to us after the game. It was much more accessible where he, it's more like you felt like he was invested in, in what the product was. Hmm. Um, certainly had a lot of nice things to say. Coming back for the Duke game, I think that's a major major development FSU and they're still going to probably get an official visit out of him as well so uh, that's a guy to really uh, keep your eye on yeah and uh, you know it's going to be a star-studded sideline right there before the game KJ Bolden expected in five-star Charles Lester Jonathan Daniels Luke Cromenhawk but is there anyone else that might be uncommitted that's on your radar that could show up on Saturday how's the start of college football season been for you guys I know the games have been great but you know what's not great Finding last minute tickets, finding tickets before game can sometimes be a nightmare and do not let this be the way that your season goes. That's why I'm here to tell you about game time. It's the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the big time matchups. Game time will get you to this year's biggest college football games with elite deals on last minute tickets and the best price guarantee. Do not stress over getting into your team's favorite game, the biggest rivalry game of the year. There's only so many games you can go to, and you need to get these tickets at the best prices. Game time is the place for last-minute ticket deals. Forget planning months in advance. Guys are terrible at that. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Game Game time, they have deals on tickets Even after an hour after the game starts, it is the place to get last-minute ticket deals. Get exclusive flash deals on tickets on all sports and even concert events. So here's what we're going to do. Snag the tickets without stress with GameTime. Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use code INSIDESCOOP for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and use code INSIDESCOOP. For $20 off, download game time today, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Yeah, I think uh, running back Osman Cromo is one that they're very high on out of Lee County. I went to see him early this year when they played uh, Colquitt. He ran for like 200 yards, uh, and that's a very good Colquitt team. And uh, I don't think they have a running back that's like him on the roster either. He's a physical kid, but very good, and you can put him in past situations, but uh, big big just long athletic kid kind of eddie george like when you watch him run uh just a uh, long strider and just a special talent that we already know that fsu has a really good running back room but i think mm-hmm. that's the guy they've really him and alvin henderson have been two of the guys and and i i think this is a guy that has been to fsu the most alvin visited last weekend but you know awesome's been there a lot to fsu so they've certainly that's one that they're they're heavily targeting as far as being a the guy, uh, as far as visiting. A lot more other guys that I think you already touched on that are visiting. I think Elias Williams, tight end, 2025, uh, that's committed to Georgia. He's expected to be there. Some really good offensive line for 2025. Four-star Solomon Thomas, four-star Max Buchanan. Um, those are some of the guys that I think uh, are expected to pop in. And then the other one that's kind of intriguing to me is Jaden Perlott. Committed to Georgia, 2025. That yeah. we we talked about him. I think a lot of people put, you know, some picks in, and and that's a guy that I'm going to keep an eye on to see how that visit goes. Whew. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a busy weekend. But before I let you go, FSU fans wouldn't let me do this without asking you, <laughs> Mike. Who do you have on commit watch this weekend? Yeah, I I haven't heard like there will be a for sure commitment, but I would say the guy to watch for me is Artavius Jones flip candidate uh flip, i have them on flip watch i even put that on my list when i did it on there just because when you go there back-to-back weekends josh you, you always in like you said 
when you since you've been doing this follow the visits and when you start following back to back visits and Miami's hosting probably their best opponent they're going to play and he's not going to that game against Clemson yeah. I think it says a lot if he shows up uh, I think uh, he's certainly a guy you have to keep on flip watch and I, I would also throw in a, a little bonus one 2025 five star Armando Blunt Watch out for FSU there. I'm hearing some, you know, some positive trickles, a little F- FSU there with Miami struggles. So that's a guy that I'm kind of keeping on as the season goes on that I think they're not done. They're still working on him hard. So that's one to keep an eye on, I think, for the rest of the year. Man, there is a lot going on with this one. And Warchant.com, you guys will be keeping these updates rolling throughout the weekend. So if you got any questions or want to see if these guys actually make it to campus, be sure to check out Warchant. Mike, busy weekend. Take care, man. We'll talk to you probably on Monday to recap all the action. Appreciate you. Yeah, hopefully hopefully I can come up for air on, on Monday, but uh, it's going to be really busy, a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, that late primetime game. Good luck to you. I tell you, man. Thanks, Josh. See ya. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.